Michaela, Rebecca, I love you. In my eyes, you're the absolute definition of what it means to be fearless and strong. I'll never forget the day I realized that you were the woman I should pursue. I woke up out of bed and I heard God say, clear as day. Aaron, when will you stop looking for perfection and focus on connection? Michaela, I promise to love you forever, to always be quick to forgive. I promise to celebrate you, to support you, push you to your dreams, to be the woman God created you to be. I promise to laugh with you, to cry with you, to worship with you, to pray with you. I'll always be patient, kind, and slow to anger. I promise to always be faithful. There's no other woman in this world that I'd rather be with than you. Love isn't a feeling. It's not an emotion. It's a decision. And um, I promise to choose you every single day for the rest of my life. I will never get over how patient you are. I've never seen more of an in the flesh depiction of Jesus and his love for me. I love how our relationship started off as just friends. I'll never forget just sitting there in your car being so overwhelmed by the presence of God. Being your best friend is one of my favorite things. I vow even on my worst days to remember that love is a constant choice, not a constant feeling. I cannot wait to continue to go with you, to chase after God with you, to offend hell with you, to wake up every morning and pray together. I can't wait for all the little things that over the course of time add up, form together, and become the big things. And not just for the sake of doing those things, but because I'm doing them with you. And that's the thing. I wouldn't want to live life every day with anyone else. You're the one for me, and I'm so grateful to God that you finally figured that out. <laughs> or that I did. I can't wait to start forever with you. I love you. There are probably going to be moments where people are uncomfortable with how much you love the Lord, how obsessed you are with Him, and how devoted you are to one another, how loud you love, and how extravagantly you forgive, how joyful you are, and how confident you are in the midst of uncertainty. These things may make people uncomfortable, but that's okay. In fact, I think it's one of the most beautiful parts of who you are. Please never lose that. We've always joked that it's going to take a really special person with really big hands to hold that enormous heart of hers. I couldn't ask for better or more trustworthy hands to hold my sister for the rest of her life. You are steadfast and patient in the midst of so many emotions and you don't allow feelings to sway you or the way that you love. I'm so honored to call you my brother-in-law. I feel really lucky and privileged to be your maid of honor and best friend and sister 
and I also feel excited about gaining you, Aaron, as a brother-in-law. You're such a godly example to me and a wonderful representative of how I want my future husband to be. I couldn't be more excited for this new season of life, but the truth that is that even before both of you were married, we were already together as brothers and sisters and family in Christ. I'd like to thank the McCord family for creating a, a beautiful, amazing daughter who's helped transform my brother's life you know, over the past couple of years. Mom and dad, you know, thank you for a great job getting Aaron from childhood to <laughs> adulthood safely, right? He made it. He made it. One moment that I remember from Aaron is, uh, you know, he owed me a little bit of money. Um, I think it was only five dollars. Um, I saw him counting hundreds of dollars in his room. I said, "Can I get that five? He's like, "Nah, this is—it's not your money. This is Alan's money." I'm like, "Can I come get it?" So we got into a fight. We went over it. You know, I put his head into the wall. Uh, we went outside. We were wrestling. Um, but that was the moment I knew that, you know, he's growing up. I can't manhandle him, any, manhandle him anymore, you know. You know, he's becoming a man. So, Michaela, know that if anyone messes with you, Aaron got you. You know, he's that muscle. That muscle. You know? This is more for me of like a surreal moment because it says that God is faithful. And for those of you who are parents that could look at your children and, and sometimes it just feels like they're, they're never gonna make it to the other side, this says God is faithful to his word. And so Aaron, I'm so, so delighted, but he, the word says that we can be a reflection of who God is and that our lives are made to be a living epistle read of all men. That we're not supposed to speak the gospel, we're supposed to be the gospel. So that as God watches us in the ups and the downs, that's important, the downs. It's like real people that God is faithful in the downs also. And Michaela, uh, I became friends with you way before Aaron proposed. Um, you asked him if, 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 I would mind if you call me, and so you called me, and, and, and we got to know each other. And so it's clear when God equally yokes you, it's for the ministry that's ahead, and the call that's ahead, and that's real important. So I'm, I'm really grateful that you're equally yoked. Aaron has never brought a girl to the house, and so when we met Michaela, we knew she was special. My prayer is that the Lord would bind you guys together with mighty cords of love, which cannot be broken. That this marriage will be built upon the rock, who is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And that your roots will go so deep, like the oak tree, that when the winds and the storms of life come, you may sway, but you will not break. Aaron, I'm, I appreciate how you approached it, how you did pursue Michaela in you know, just a, a just a good way, a healthy way, and you know it wasn't real clear at first, and then it became really clear to both of you. But I appreciate you how you dealt with me and you came to me. You were a man, and I appreciate that. You guys have raised a wonderful son, because that's not the case these days, as you as most of you know. That's just not how it is. But you lived up to it, and I appreciate that. I really do, son. Kayla, you're my four, firstborn. She's my oldest, and uh, she's a special girl. All my, all my children are, but um, you've been through so much. As an adult, um, even recently, uh, and my daughters know this, a lot of other people don't, but Michaela is my hero. Kayla is my hero. Um, she's she's been through more than anybody I know. You are uh, you're amazing, and I'm so proud of you. I really am. So the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace now and forever. The Lord bless you in your coming and your going, in your work, in your leisure, with your children, with your hard times, and with your good times. 
the Lord give you favor and wisdom in every area of your life. And I'm always here for you guys.